99X. It is the very fashionable 99X, Barnes and Leslie. Fram, would your husband fall in the category of uh, being fashionable? Well, when we go out, I usually take his uh, pick out his clothes, really? which he allows me to do, and I buy a lot of his clothes. Because every time I see Lanny, he looks pretty hip, and he's, yeah. he's put together. I put the hip look together. You have a certain look, Barnes, let's face it. What are you trying to say? No, I mean, you you know, you've got your fashionable Iron Maiden t-shirt. Uh-huh. And usually, you know, one of many pairs of... Um, some sometimes it's cool sneakers. Sometimes it's just like black flats, whatever black, you call them. Black but you have flats. A look. It, that, I thought you women know, I, wear flats. I, it seems very weird. <laughs> whatever you call them, but you have a look, and it's a Barnes look. It's okay. Okay. Well, th- I, I didn't know where you were going with that. We have um, some <laughs> professionals that can break it down for us from the Wall Street Journal, this little bitty tiny publication. Yeah. The fashion director Catherine Zarella and the men's editor Jamie Waters, because they had a very very apropos piece that both men listening and wives that have a man should pay attention to because they are the end-all, be-all. Hey, welcome to the show, Jamie and Catherine. Thank you. We're excited to be here. Thank you. Catherine, you look like a fashion editor, I will say. You look like buttoned up and on it. You've got all the accessories. you got the hat going. You definitely are working it. Yeah, she looks amazing. Uh-huh. Thank you. It's part of the gig. Yep. So what inspired this article? It's a men's style article, and you guys break down some stuff that I know some men and women are going to be talking about because it really has some definite as to what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Yeah, for sure. Um, The article came about because the word sexy isn't applied to menswear too often. And I think when a lot of of guys think of the term like a sexy men's outfit, um, sort of it comes with a side of cringe and an eye roll and you sort of have images of like you know, unfortunate leather trousers and like a silk shirt, like unbuttoned to the navel. Uh, They sort of like slither into your mind. Um, But I think in reality, like a lot of guys do want to look sexy, um, whether it's on date night or they're going out to a restaurant. And there is a very accessible version, um, which it, it doesn't involve arriving at dinner with your you know, looking like your pecs are the main course. Um, you can, you can, you know, you can wear like a shirt in like a nice texture that someone wants to touch or like, you know, pants that just have a, that fit really nicely. Like there's an accessible version of sexiness. And I think we really wanted to kind of tap into that with this article. So some of the things that were troubling to me was that only 22% of the people you interviewed think that men over 50 look sexy in sneakers, which if you look, I mean, in Atlanta, I'm not speaking from New York, but everywhere you go, everything is sneakered up or sneakered down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not just like, I mean, sneakers, men over 50, that's common. Yeah. So I think this came from our poll results Um, and I did, we did find that a little ageist, frankly, yes. that, that people said men over 50 shouldn't be in sneakers. Um, and I now know that that's your favorite thing to wear, Barnes. Hell um, yeah. According to Leslie. Yes. <laughs> I think, so I think, to be honest, I mean, if you speak to experts, I think a dressy sneaker, you know, can, can definitely be sexy on any age. Um, I think that's that's different from like a running shoe that looks like you've just, you know, you've just been to the gym. So I think we need to get some definitions of what kind of sneaker we're talking about. Well, I was going to ask, what about the $600 Golden Goose sneakers that, you know, have the dirty look? Are those hip for guys over 50? You know, I, I think if you're if you're going to wear a sneaker and you're an older guy, wear whatever sneaker is going to make you happy because the opinion's already out there. We did the poll. You know, we have the stats. So if, if, you know, the majority of the 2,000 plus people we interviewed aren't into older guys with sneakers and you want to wear them anyway, just do what you want. Okay, I want, I want to hit some of these takeaways and then get your comments on the ones that you think stick out, Catherine. This is from the Wall Street Journal, article on men's style, what's what's in, what's not in, what you should and shouldn't do. Okay, 3% of these participants named ankles as the sexiest body part a man can reveal. That's interesting. Uh, men's jewelry was deemed relatively unsexy by almost mm. half, 47%. 
while 52% deemed red clothes rarely or never sexy. These are very specific things. A few more. Really? Baggy clothes, even less alluring, with 65% of the survey giving them a thumbs down. This is for men, by the way. Meanwhile, 41% of the group agreed that black clothes are generally a sexy bet. And then 75% of respondents said glasses or tom- sometimes, usually, or always sexy. And we all know, as you know, as you get older, the, the readers are going to happen. I've got my Caddis readers on right now. Are these sexy? I think they're very sexy. I think you're doing Thank a you. great job in the glasses sexy department. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll hit on some of those, because those are very, I mean, black, we get it. Everyone loves black. But the hatred for red and jewelry... You know, I mean, if you're a matador that's trying to make a bull go crazy, you're going to wave a red flag. So maybe there's something there. I'm not a psychologist, but uh, you know, it can be kind of an abrasive color, whereas black is seen as generally universally flattering. So I think it's it's not surprising that so many people felt that that was a little bit uh, sexier. The men's jewelry, I think it really depends on what type of jewelry it is. Um, uh, you know, I, I think if you're covered in uh, 85 different bracelets, that's kind of objectively not very <laughs> sexy. Uh, you know, if you know what you're doing, go for it. But, uh, you know, the people have spoken and they seem to be into a little bit less adornment. This is so interesting. We're talking about what's sexy and what's not on men. Men's style, basically. And we have from the Wall Street Journal, Catherine Zarelli, the fashion director, and men's editor, Jamie Waters. Let's talk about buttons. How many buttons, De- oh. Barnes? How many buttons do you have unbuttoned on your shirt right now? Well, do you count the uh, Jamie and Catherine? Do you top the? Do you you know count that button at the very top? Yes. Yes. I think oh, you, you got do. To. It's all the buttons. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I have two undone because that one I don't count, and then the first one is undone the very top. What happens to me? You're, you're right on the money, but Only two buttons undone was the you know majority of respondents that uh, we spoke to okay. thought the two top buttons undone were the sexiest. However, we thought it was very interesting that the majority of men were a bigger fan of just one button undone, but women wanted to see a little bit more chest, and the bulk of women mm. voted for two buttons undone. So you're appealing to the female audience in, sp- in particular. Did you guys poll the Amish? Because 12% thought zero buttons undone was sexy. (laughs) (laughs) Not to my knowledge, but it's totally possible. I need to ask about the skinny jeans. Is that trend over? The skinny jeans that we referenced specifically were uh, not just skinny jeans. I think there's a big debate happening about skinny jeans for both men and women right now. But these are the super extra tight Possibly Ooh. not your size skinny jeans that just show every single muscle in your calf that uh, the stylist that we spoke to and the majority of the people on our fashion team just said that it's it's really a turn off. A couple of fast ones. Um, Jamie, we were just in France and I forgot my bathing suit. And so we just went on a mission one day to go find a bathing suit. Well, all we could find there was those not like marble sacks, but like the the ones that are way high, you know. And I and I was like, nope, nope, not doing it. Like I want more of a surf short. What is the like for shorts or bathing suit? What where should we be? Well, I think I mean respondents went for a kind of Goldilocks situation where it was like just above the knees, so the in the yes. middle, so not the super high. Um, you know, flushing your whole thigh, um, but also not below the knee, which might be your surfer one. I'm not sure what. No, I'm you saying right above, surfer. right, right above the knee. So that's 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 bang on, and I think generally with a lot of these poll results as well, like. People are skewing towards a, a middle option because I think with with sexiness in menswear, often you don't want to look like you're tr- you're trying super hard. So I think generally the middle the middle option is is good in a lot of different categories, including shorts. And the other one, which my wife keeps trying to get me to do, and I just don't like it, is stubble. I just don't, it feels itchy. But where does where do the people fall for on a man? Like, what do they like, or what do they find the sexiest? 
Yeah, this was interesting. A majority of people liked some form of facial hair. So um, that could be stubble, a beard or a moustache. Stubble got 26% of the vote. But those three categories got a majority. And then 44% said clean shaven, which I think often oh. when you think of date night, you think, you, you know, you'll, you'll have a fresh shave. No, the people want a bit of facial hair. I don't get it. Whenever she says that, she's like, oh, it's yeah. It's sexy, do- Barnes. I, yeah, because when Lanny, when he does that, I yeah, I love it. Why, though? I, I just have an- to say it. It's just sexy. And that's what we're talking about here. I think there's an ease to it. It's like sort of the day after you've shaved or something, there's a certain like, yeah, you'll you're kind of look a bit more relaxed, maybe. Well, I think this has been super helpful, hopefully, for the guys listening right now. Well, one last thing. As we talk to the experts at the Wall Street Journal, both of you, Jamie or Catherine, whichever one, what is the go-to uniform for us guys if we're going to go out like it's Thursday night, date night, whatever? What is the cool thing to wear so you're not like in a bad, you know, you're not the bad respondent on a poll? Well, 43% of the people that we interviewed thought that jeans and a t-shirt was the sexiest move uh, for an outfit. So, you know, particularly when it comes to date night, uh, more so than a suit and tie or a button down and a pair of more formal pants. So I think they want maybe that Marlon Brando, you know, casual but confident jeans and t-shirt look. Like the James Dean look? Yeah. Yes, exactly like the James Dean look. So just a white t-shirt and jeans. I like that. I think, yes. The white t-shirt's always a safe bet. You can play with a black t-shirt. You know, it's not necessarily color specific. I guess you want to avoid red, though, because of the whole full situation. But, uh, you know, the, the white jeans and t-shirt is definitely a good bet. Well, thank you two for coming on. This was fun. And then now, men, like, if you want to go seek that out in the Wall Street Journal, it's an excellent summary of what we should really and good. shouldn't be doing. The article's called Men's Style, What's Sexy, What's Not? And they've got this great poll in there. Catherine and Jamie, thank you very much from the Wall Street Journal for coming on. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. The Morning X. X. With Barnes and Leslie. Nine, nine. X.